March 2nd, St. Simplicius, Pope. St. Simplicius was the ornament of the Roman clergy under Pope St. Leo and St. Hilarius. He succeeded the latter as supreme pontiff in the year 468. He was raised up by God to comfort and support his church amid the greatest tribulations occasioned by the fall of Rome in the eighth year of his reign. All the provinces of the Western Empire outside of Italy had come into the hands of the barbarians. The emperors for many years were rather shadows of power than sovereigns, and in the year 476, Rome, capital of the empire, disappeared when the son of the last one having the title emperor was deposed. All Italy, through the oppression and the ravages of the barbarians and the assassination of three emperors, was left almost a desert without inhabitants. The Roman armies consisted chiefly of barbarians hired under the title auxiliaries. The northern barbarians were demanding a third of the lands of Italy, and being refused, chose for their leader the intrepid Odoacer, an Arian, like all the barbarian kings reigning in the provinces, and he was proclaimed king of Rome by his followers. He put to death the regent of the empire, named to govern during the minority of Augustulius, whom the senate had advanced to the imperial throne. He spared, at least, the life of the young sovereign, appointed him a salary of six thousand pounds of gold, and permitted him to live at liberty near Naples. This was indeed the end of the Western Empire. Pope Simplicius was occupied with comforting and relieving the afflicted, as well as sowing the seeds of the Catholic faith among the barbarians. Like the experienced pilot he was, he guided the church through the troubled waters of a stormy sea. The East gave the zeal of St. Simplicius no less employment and concern. The Eutychian heretics whose heresy proclaims that Jesus was not both true God and true man, but that his human nature was taken over by his divine nature. These Eutychians placed their own leader as patriarch of Antioch, and the profligate Peter Mongus became patriarch of Alexandria. Acacius, the patriarch of Constantinople, supported Mongus against the Pope and the Catholic Church. Acacius was a notorious hypocrite who often made religion serve his private interests. St. Simplicius eventually discovered his artifices and redoubled his zeal to maintain the holy faith, which he saw betrayed on every side. The emperor Zenon, listening to the pope for a time, drove out several Eutychians from their sees. But the intrigues of the heretics continued to create serious difficulties for the father of Christianity. Since the patriarchal sees of Alexandria and Antioch were occupied by men of ruse, and there was not one Catholic king in the entire world. St. Simplicius, after dedicating four major churches of Rome and establishing many useful regulations for the Roman Roman church during his reign of nearly 16 years, went to receive the reward of his labors in the year 483. He was buried in St. Peter's on the 2nd of March of that year.